They call me Bali Santa Santa get now Santa get now That is my thing baby Santa Santa get now Santa get now Street football and nothing else Play that game me no conja for problem Street football and nothing else You can go take it in my stack boy me progress School's out and I'm chilling on the stairs Looking at the soccer ball at my feet All our parents are teachers so we're Barbaric bulldozers? Ha! <laughs> the name alone is quite a program. They're all doing that now. They give their teams menacing names to intimidate their opponents. It's a scare tactic. Yeah, and it works. We could do the same thing, you know. The Blues is kind of a tame name. What do you say we change it to, uh, the Blue Bullies or the Bad Boy Blues? Are you joking? The Bad Boy Blues? You're forgetting you have two girls on your team. Come and get it! Eat while it's hot! So, let's forget this name business and start focusing on our next opponents, the Bulldozers. Check out their latest results. 5-2-6-1-7-0-6-3, etc., etc., etc. Whoa, these guys are built like tanks. They look more like rugby players. This one actually calls himself Sledgehammer. I'm going to watch a few of their games on video and come up with a strategy that we can try out during practice. Oh, the last thing we need are more strategies and counter strategies that I can never remember. All we have to do is show up, score some goals, and win. It's simple. Against the bulldozers? I guess that could work, but not against the Black Devils. No way! The Black Devils, huh? Is that a nightmare you had last night or what? No! You don't know the Black Devils, Shark! The Black Devils? They sound like losers. Yeah, but it's just the opposite. They're supposedly the Wait a minute, since when? Are we not considered the best anymore? Not from what I hear anyway. I'm telling you, things change quick. The tide is turned and now the Black Devils are the talk of the town. You'll see. Check them out on your computer if you don't believe me. Come on. Okay, so maybe they're good at special effects, but street soccer's not show business, okay? It's a fight without mercy on the playing field with real people. Hey, if you want a show, I'll give you a show. I don't need special <laughs> effects or computer-generated images. Just pure talent. Whoa! <laughs> no! oh. Too slow! Direction changes should be as fast as lightning. We have to work on our speed! I hate this drill. We could do it on grass instead of cement, you know. At least that way, if we fall, we won't break all of our bones. Hey, this is street soccer. If you want to play on freshly mowed grass, play golf. If we don't practice under real conditions, it's useless. Mm, to be honest, sometimes I wish I did play golf. Hey, Blows, mission accomplished. I think I found what you're looking for. This is Todd and this is Rod. They're hefty and they play soccer. They should do. All we ask is that you don't go easy on us. No mercy. Do we really have to inflict this pain upon ourselves? The point is to learn how not to get hurt, Jeremy. We have to be incredibly agile so we don't get bulldozed by the bulldozers. Well, get ready, because the treatment we're going to give you is worse than the flames of hell. What's all this devil talk? It's not Halloween. Ever since this morning, all I keep hearing is devil this, demon that, at school, in stores, in the street, everywhere. What? Are devils in now? Did I miss something? Would you tell me? No, it's just this new team called the Black Devils who claim to be the next street soccer idols. If you want my opinion, the whole thing is a sham. You didn't know? They put up posters with their logo all over the neighborhood. Yeah, I saw them too. They're organizing this big event at City Hall tonight to introduce their team to the public. Anyone can come. I knew there was an explanation. It's just a big publicity stunt. In any case, if those little devils start to get out of hand, we can just hire an exorcist. <laughs> I'm the 
beginning to wonder why we came. Relax, you're no fun. You're not scared of going to the dark side, are you? Tag Vader. Very funny. This masquerade has nothing to do with street soccer, guys. I think we should all go to bed so we're fresh for practice tomorrow morning. Oh, come on, Tag. There's more to life than street soccer. It's not a crime to have a little fun. Dude, you're way too serious. Come on, we'll have a good time. everyone, and welcome to the Black Devils Midnight Extravaganza. The Black Devils are determined to leave their mark on their world and, in particular, to change the face of street soccer. Make no mistake, we're here to rule, to dominate, to win. It's time to leave the blue wave in the dust. Make way for the reign of darkness, the reign of the Black Devils! It's us, I suppose. Do they have a grudge against us? Today, you're going to write an essay on Shakespeare's The Merchant of Venice. You have one hour. You may choose one of the three topics listed on the board. We'll see who did their reading assignment last night. You may start. Come on, just let it go. You heard what that ridiculous devil said last night. We can't just let it go, Gabe. Shh. They insulted us in front of everyone, right to our faces, too. Can't you see they staged the whole thing to humiliate us? You said it yourself. It's a scare tactic. It's nothing new. We've seen it before. Once we get on the field, we'll crush them, all right? No, it's not like usual. I can feel it. There's something different this time. What are you doing wearing those costumes, kids? It's not Halloween. No, but today we get to dress up like black devils. Where did you get those masks? We found them by the front gate in a box. Yeah, and there was a note on it. Greetings from the Black Devils. Have fun with us, play with us. We're yours to keep, so go wild. Hmm. Trying to get a suntan, are we? <laughs> Speak of the devil. Funny I ran into you. Is it true what people are saying? that the devils are better than you? You too, Mr. Albert? Don't tell me you fell for their publicity stunt. They're just trying to intimidate us, you know? Hey, I didn't say I believed it, okay? But the whole town is talking about it. That's why I'm asking. So maybe it's all a publicity stunt, but maybe there's some truth to it too? Yeah, well, maybe it's just a hoax. No one has ever even seen their faces. <laughs> Either way, it's amusing. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. At school now, everybody's talking about the Black Devils. It's become an obsession. It's insane. They're not the only ones. <laughs> Just listen to yourselves. Us? Come on. We're the only ones who don't believe their nonsense. Yeah, right. Whatever. Keep talking about the devils and you'll blow a fuse. Quack! He's right. It's true. We're getting distracted by them. We have to stop or we'll go nuts. We have a game coming up. We have to focus. Speaking of which, the bulldozers are here, and it looks like they have something to say to you. Um, hey, guys, we're going to have to cancel the game. What? What do you mean, cancel the game? Are you joking? Well, um, I don't know if you noticed, but there's only four of us, and we don't have a team. Sledgehammer bailed out on us. He left us to join the Black Devils. Read this. Here, go ahead. Huh? I'm fed up, fed up! Don't try to find me. I'm moving on to bigger and better things. I've decided to join the best team in the world, the Black Devils. Signed, Sledgehammer. That's it? I don't believe he didn't tell you face to face. Maybe if we look on the internet, we'll find more information. Let's see if they updated their website. <laughs> Faithful fans, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The unveiling of the wickedest team in the world. Dare to open the door to the netherworld. <laughs> what? We still don't know who they are, though. What a ripoff! Hold on. Let's see if we can click on each mask. From the frozen steppes of Siberia, Igor, already a soccer legend in his native Russia. Siberia, huh? I bet Igor is tough. From the heart of Africa, Muan, also known as the Cheetah. I can guess why they call him the Cheetah. From the asphalt jungles of Rio, Nelson, the magician, voted best street soccer player in Brazil. 
<laughs> Nelson the Magician. Juan the Cheetah. <laughs> Give me a break. Why not Raul the Fool while we're at it? Knock it off, Jeremy. Oh, we can't see their faces. It's so annoying. There must be a reason. Maybe they're ugly or maybe they're covered in pimples. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I've seen enough. Hold on, not yet. We want to see the others. I clicked on the next one. From the streets of Hanoi, Fat, Vietnam's number one defender. Try to get past him if you dare. There's still one left. And last but not least, our latest recruit, Sledgehammer. That's him, all right. Deserter, worse, traitor. Because of you, we don't have a team. Formerly with the bulldozers, Sledgehammer wears his name well and will make the Black Devils utterly invincible. Oh, uh, there's one thing I don't get. Why is he the only one to show his face? It's really annoying. Everyone's dying to join up with the Black Devils, so stay tuned and discover our new wicked substitutes. That's <laughs> the same guy as last night. Yeah, the loser with the mask. I wonder who's behind it. Coward, that's who. Make sure not to miss the ultimate face-off tomorrow. Come watch the Black Devil send the blues to the netherworld. It will be a duel to the last dying breath. There's... <laughs> I guess that means they're serious. Yeah, they're challenging us nah, to a duel. I think it's a hoax, guys. They sound like it. They sure break me out. They're all talking, no action. Yeah. We'll soon find out. Quiet, that's enough. This is just <gasps> speculation. Shark, we need reliable information on them. Can you get that for us? I sure can and I'll get my best guys on it right away. One of my sources found out where the Devil's Stomping Ground is. We're almost there. You're in for a surprise, dude. I hope we don't get nabbed by the Watchman. I don't believe it. St. Xavier, the prep school for the elite? Hey, you, what are you doing here, huh? Huh? What did I write in my note, huh? Don't try to fight me. You don't know how to read, don't you? <laughs> you come here for a fight? Don't worry. You'll have your chance to fight during the game. Patience is virtue. He's right. Save your strength, Tag. You're gonna need it for tomorrow to protect that pretty little goalie of yours. Now leave or we'll make you leave. Aunt Louise is gonna flip out when she finds that they're from St. Xavier. Yes, and that's not the only surprise in store for her. The Black Devils did everything by the book. I accepted their registration request. Seeing as the Bulldozers canceled tomorrow's game against you at the last minute, you'll play the Devils instead. But Fede, the Devils don't respect the street soccer code of honor. While I don't condone their attitude, the fact is they're talented players, and so far they haven't broken any rules. It's a good challenge for you, Blues. Good luck. It's gonna be one tough game. Get ready, we'll have to push ourselves to the limit. Wow, that's quite a turnout. I guess their publicity stunt paid off. I spoke with Fede. Given the importance of this event, he asked me to referee the game myself and to intervene at the slightest dispute. With the Black Devils, we have no idea what to expect. We'll see once they get on the field. Hmm? Huh? Hooray! Ha ha! They look like they should be on figure skates! This is street soccer, not some fashion show. Oh, come on. At least they've got style. Hey, it looks better than baggy sweatshirts. I'm sorry I'm late, guys. Eloise, there's something we have to tell you. We should have told you sooner. What? What's wrong? It concerns you indirectly. We didn't want to upset you. What? Well, Shark and I found out where the Black Devils come from, and you're not going to believe this, but they're from St. Xavier's. <laughs> You're out. OK, so I messed up. We can still win. Maybe, but not with you. We'll play as four. Hmm? I take that back. As five, our missing player. I had an accident. She can't even stand up. How do you expect her to play? You're going to lose. Well, if we do, we'll lose as a team. You're not like us. You only play for yourself. Are you OK, Eloise? Don't take it personally, Vic. We're just a really tight team. And of course I'm not allowed to be part of it. Why do you always have it all? And me, nothing. It's not fair. I'm a hundred times better than Eloise. I deserve to be on the field, not her. Vic, it's you. 
I, I, I don't understand. Hello, it's a pleasure. As always, I'm curious to see if your lucky star still protects you. Victoria, why this hostility? And why hide behind that mask? I didn't come here to chat. I came to play. Hold on, which ones are your players? Because there's seven of you. Alex and Fat will be our substitutes. I'll put them in later in the game. In street soccer, there's no substitutes. Choose your five players, period. The others will play some other time. You're wrong. I read through the official street soccer rules carefully, unlike some people. Using substitutes is not prohibited. Technically, I believe she's right. It's not forbidden. However, you must announce your substitutes ahead of time. But coach, no one's ever had subs in the past. Like you said, that was the past, but we're here to change things. Get ready for more surprises, tag. Let's go, it's time to play. Huh? Oh. Oh. It's outrageous. You fed it. There have never been subs. Only a regular sucker. I think the devils are gonna win. never seen them play. We don't have anything to go on. Hey, we're not here to chat, okay? We're here to play soccer. <laughs> yeah. uh, mm, the goalie's whoa. incredible. I hope the Black Devils win. Don't you think their goalie's a dreamboat? The Blues are off to a bad start. Not looking good. Blues, listen up. Don't let them intimidate you. We need to be much more aggressive on attack and Wait, what's he doing in the goal? The Russian was on attack a minute ago. Now he's the goalie? Hold it. Hey, coach! Your attacker is now in the goal. Is that allowed? On our team, no one has an assigned position. We all play every position. Whoever's closest to the goal stops the ball, and it's that simple. That's against the rules, and you know it. I'm afraid that's a tricky one. I'll consult Fady about it as soon as I get the chance, but for the time being, we have to find a compromise. You can change your goalie, but you must announce to the referee ahead of time. Basically, the same rule applies to subs as to position changes, okay? If it'll keep that nitpicker from complaining, fine. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, you saw that. Vic announced the change way too late. But she announced it. Just concentrate on the game tag and stop objecting all the time. I'm the ref. I'll decide what's fair and what isn't. One's going off and Fat's coming on. Hey, hey. Knock him dead, bro. I think they want to wear us out. She's going to put fresh subs in until we're exhausted. I would have scored the goal myself, but I took pity on you. Mwah. You're too pretty. Oh. Don't hey. waste your time with her, Fat. She's a loser. Game 
over. 5-0, the Black Devils win. I guess that's the end of the blues, huh? Out with the old, in with the new. <gasps> Man, the devil sure clobbered them. Woohoo! The Black Devils rule! St. Xavier's is number one! What on earth were you thinking, Victoria? I leave for just a few days, and what do I find upon my return? Five hoodlums you picked up God knows where, frolicking about on my grounds and making themselves right at home at my school. They're not hoodlums. They're some of the best athletes in the world, you know. Street soccer's not a sport. It's a pastime for flunkies from disreputable neighborhoods. Ha! A game for rowdy thugs. It is a sport unworthy of St. Xavier. Daddy, you gave me permission to put a team together, remember? Yes, but with our students. Not with a bunch of vulgar lowlifes with dubious backgrounds. I tried forming a team with those daddy's boys. I even had them play in a game. Well, you know what? We got clobbered, that's what. Clearly, we were not meant to play street soccer. You should have given up. You know me better than that. I never give up. And since the players I had on hand weren't good enough, I recruited them from all over the world and had them flown in at St. Xavier's expense. I forged your signature. You did what? How dare you, Victoria? Can you imagine if the Board of Trustees finds out about this? They won't find out, and if they do, they'll applaud you for taking such a bold initiative. Don't you realize, Dad, you've opened the doors of St. Xavier's to talented, underprivileged athletes with potential. Do you understand? <clears throat> yes. I still don't understand what happened to us out there. You want to know what happened? We got clobbered, that's what. They were better than us, it's simple. So now what, do we just give up? Throw in the towel? That's what all prestigious schools do. They give scholarships to kids with potential. The Board of Trustees will be glad to finance them because the victories we're going to accumulate are going to enhance the now, prestige of our school. That's all fine and well, but what if the victories don't come? Oh, they'll come. Look, we have to uh, pull ourselves together, lift our heads back up. If we work hard, we can still qualify for the World Cup. That is, if you still want to. Of, of course, course we, we still, still want, want to. to. We're with you all the way. I'll do whatever it takes to get the results you need. That's a promise. Looking at the soccer ball at my feet yeah. All I'll 